Okay, so I have fully set up a Captain America leadership deck versus um, Rhino, and we've already shuffled, but I'll shuffle again, just in case, and now let's just deal myself my six cards to start the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two. once again, if someone knows an easier way to flip these, let me know. I'm always flipping them manually and it's not like it's just a pain um, I don't need two heroic strikes on turn one so let's get rid of one uh, I'm also going to get rid of strength in numbers and make the call I think those are the three that make the most sense to get rid of one two, three, then we put these, okay, so I could spend three on that, now I could play Avengers Tower and then just straight up use it to play Squirrel Girl for cheap, Avengers Tower costs two, Hold on to the heroic strike. Yep, yep. Okay. This this I think works. I don't think I play vision turn one. And I don't hold on to the sh oh. Before we do anything, my setup ability goes off and I go and find Captain America's shield, which is there. Shuffling my deck. One, two. Playing Avengers Tower. Which gives me Squirrel Girl for free. I think I'm going to use the power of leadership to play the Captain America's shield, so at least it's in play. But... It's not ideal. Uh, vision and shield block to play Avengers Tower, which I'll immediately use to play Squirrel Girl for nothing. Squirrel Girl's response uh, activates, dealing it one to each enemy, which will just drop that down to 14. Um, then I will play my shield. I want to move my allies up a bit, have my upgrades going this way. Uh, yeah, so this costs zero because of Living Legend and the Avengers Tower. Uh, then I'm going to flip and I'm going to use this and this to thwart this away. Oh. Uh, then I can either discard this to put on two more damage. I could hold on to it to stun him next turn, and I should have a damage on the Squirrel Girl for when it forwarded. She has two hit points, so she's blocking the attack this turn. I think the stun next turn is more valuable, so I'm going to hold on to it. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fraught next turn. Okay, he's attacking. Uh, <laughs> Next turn I'm going to have a lot of fraud and not a lot to do with it, so maybe I just hold off. Use the strength in numbers for two. And just straight up take the damage or block? Block. What about block for three? Seems legit. Uh, so he is only doing the damage on here, which is one. Oh, and I forgot to grab a HP counter. Do we have ones for the new characters? No. 
Uh, base HP is 11. Black Panthers. Ah, so I took one damage. He takes one damage from Retaliate on the shield. And then we get one card. Is the encounter card. Ah, a lot of fist resources. Uh, that could be a problem. It's only plus one attack. I can probably afford to take it for a little bit. Anyway, uh, that only works on printed costs. That doesn't work on printed costs. Um, this doesn't work on printed costs. Okay, so I don't have to straight up pay for vision if I wanted to grab it. Cost four. One, two, uh, no, let's just do Fearless Determination, which draws me a card. Gives me plus one fraught. Uh, Fearless Determination, giving me plus one card. Giving me a Nick Fury, who's not an Avenger. I could strengthen numbers to exhaust the Squirrel Girl to Tick us over to the plus one card. I could play the Nick Fury with the cards I have in hand, drawing three cards. I could play the morale boost, discard a card that'll allow me to stand. An attack. Three damage. I don't think that's worth it. I could play the heroic strike. I don't think there's a world where I get the strength in numbers off for more than one currently. So let's just draw one card. I could attack. For four. Let's hold on to the Nick Fury. I can't get the heroic strike stun off at the moment. Maybe I play the Nick Fury. Uh, if I'm going to play Nick Fury, I think I flip to Alter Ego. It's a little dangerous, but not overly so. And uh, it could be worth it. Um, yeah, that's Nick Fury it up. Costing four. Turning off Living Legend ability. But allowing me to get my first Super Soldier Serum online. Let's use Nick Fury. to attack. Let's attack. One, two. I obviously don't play, I don't use, I can do this all day this time. Uh, and that goes up by one. I draw my hand of five. Not what I wanted. Hey, second super soldier serum. That'll be handy. I've already up to that. So now it is time for... Oh, that should have a damage on it. It attacked. Uh, he's attacking. Nick Fury is blocking. That's six damage. That kills Nick Fury. And then I get one encounter card. I am confused. 
Oh no, whatever shall I do? Okay. Walk okay. eye, and that, I can get it for one. That sounds pretty legit. Uh, I think I'm gonna straight up exhaust that to play that, costing only the shield block, because I don't think there's a world I play that this turn. Um, I think I discard shield toss to set up Hawkeye this turn. Uh, to fraught for yeah yeah okay I'm gonna just discard I'm gonna use this to fort up here but that just gives me get rid of, rid of my confused I discard the shield toss to stand back up to fort again because I need that gone now my next action is to flip I haven't played an ally this turn so this is still on this gives me another plus one and this gives me the last plus one. No. I'll use the card. I don't think there's a world where I keep um, a first aid just lying around for nothing. Now, Hawkeye gets four arrow counters. And... I don't use him this turn. I want to keep him for a turn when I have a lead from the front or something up. Lead from the front, Avenger, disassemble, something big like that. Um, although he's probably not going to take any damage. Anyway, this all covers because I'm ending my turn. I'm drawing six cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what do I got there? Okay, cool. That's looking a little bit better. Apartment to heal me. Um, yeah, just generally good shenanigans. Um, he's scheming. I got nothing to do that can stop that, so we just. That's good that he's gone. Um, so it's just three. So he's on four. And then we get one encounter card. Uh, two encounter cards. Surge. Place spray threat on it. Now, explosion. It would have been a first. Um, I'm not discarding all my cards. Let's just exhaust to remove it from the game. Oop. Okay. I need to get rid of that this turn, if I can. Don't have anything in hand that would allow me to. One, two, three, four. I can play Falcon for basically nothing. Um, let's give it a go. So, Avengers Tower, Living Legend. And the power of leadership gets me Falcon. Look at the top three cards. Okay, card one, card two, card three. One, two, three. Uh, for each treachery this way, remove one threat from a scheme. That's a minion. That's a treachery. That's an attachment. Okay, so I got one treachery. So that lets me take one from here, and I'm just gonna use probably gonna use Falcon to Oh actually. I might use my own ability, we'll see. Um that's gonna be a five damage attack. That's going to be the card that he plays which means he's going to be attacked and he's going to stun me if he do deals damage and it's going to be a 6 damage attack so I think Squirrel Girl blocks the second attack not the first uh, the first attack being 5 
damage. I've only got three defense. I don't know if I even block it. We'll see. Um. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to remove one from here. Okay, I'm not going to play Shield Toss this turn. Oh wait, let's not do Shield Toss discarding. Let's use one of the Super Soldier Serums to play Steve's Apartment. So I can draw a card and heal one. Boop. I think I want to get the Triskelion into play. I think I also want to play First Aid. Uh, can I afford that? I don't think I can afford that. Triskelion... First aid. I can, I can, and I hold on to that. Uh, but then I have to discard that to ready. Which I do want to do. Oh well. I'm going to play the Triskelion. I'm going to flip. I can do this all day. I'm going to fort with these two, one removing Bomb Scare, and the other removing two from here. See one damage on here, and then I'm going to use this to heal. You're dead at the end of the turn anyway, but I could put a fort up beforehand. Uh, so if I want one, one for one for it is not great. Um, I'm going to put Falcon back on full hit points. Uh, let's refresh the turn. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one here. Flip, 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 flip. Okay, so I'm being hit twice. I've got no shield blocks. That's fine. Uh, first attack. I straight up take. There's no reason for me not to take it. Um, I want to be standing for this lead from the front shenanigans. Yep. Flip. Oh no. Five damage. Then he gets a card. Huh. Who would have thunk it? Uh, if a character is damaged by this attack, it will be stunned, so Squirrel Girl will block it. And... 6 damage. Who would have thunk it? Okay. Now, I'm ready. I have 2 lead from the fronts. So I can get in a pretty insane turn. It's not like lead from the front into... Um, yeah, so I can play both of these. I can hold on to the heroic strike. I probably flip down, heal at the end, towards the end of the turn. Just a couple points. Yeah, it seems good. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is play lead from the front. Second thing I'm going to do is play lead from the front. So every one of my characters is at plus two. Uh, then I'm going to thwart for three with Hawkeye. Because plus two, so why not? Uh, then I'm going to attack with Falcon for four. So it'd be down to seven. Avengers Assemble would be very good right now. 
obviously don't have it, but uh, then I'm going to attack for four. Ready up and attack for four, triggering the next stage of Rhino, which gives tough and stun. Stunned, tough. Uh, K sixteen. Now I flip down. Use Steve's apartment to heal one. I was hoping to draw an ally there. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'll hold on to both of these. It's a very strong if I can flip into a heroic strike. That's up. That's up. That's up. There's are these. I draw the last two cards. Get one of these. Five. Six. Okay, we put one on here, he schemes, Whoop. for two. Now we only lose if one of these is advanced. False alarm, I get confused. It's clearly I need more of these tokens, status tokens. Hydra Bomber. Okay. I can afford to take two damage, I think. Oh, uh, no. No, because I need threat on the scheme for Agent 13 to remove. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is that I completely forgot that Agent 13 is not an Avenger. Um, oh, why did I exhaust that? Uh, that, Steve's apartment. I want to play the heroic strike. I should have used one of these when this came into play. It's backtracking a little bit. I know it's bad. I just like we're not that far beyond it. Um, I'll play Agent 13, which we'll move to from here. I don't think I have enough attacks here that I can kill him this turn. So we should be good to just play it as normal. Um, in that case, I will scheme here. Not scheme. There. That other one. Um, for what there? I want to hit him with heroic strike, which means I need to attack with cap. And Hawkeye, very likely. Let's attack with cap, feeling the stunt. No, let's not attack with Hawkeye. Let's use strength in numbers. Should have done this before I flipped. Avengers assemble, you say? Hmm. 
If I was to Avengers Assemble, which would cost not all of this, I could actually do it with just what's on the table. These two would stand up. Okay? Uh, and so would I. We'd all get plus one. So then that would be three, two, three. That's eight damage. And then I could discard a card to ready for another three damage. I'd lose two though, so it's only nine. It's probably worth doing, but we'll see. One, two, Avengers assemble. Maybe I don't discard a card already. Instead, play. Instead, play the heroic strike. Yeah, seems pretty good. But no other way to draw cards. Uh, also, I forwarded with that. That should be on damage. Uh, I won't kill Hawkeye because he's got three hit points. I won't kill Falcon because he's got three hit points. Okay, that seems good. Um, one, two, three. Four Avengers assemble, readying these three. Uh, Hawkeye attacks first. Falcon, uh, we're moving the tough. Falcon attacks second, doing three damage. Cap attacks third, doing three damage, so six damage all up. Then I use these three. to play Heroic Strike, which is 6 damage and a stun, because I played with at least one Fist resource. So we are down to 4. <laughs> and he is stunned. Then we end our turn with more than enough red, uh, with more than enough cards on the table to end it next turn if I don't basically lose to the encounter deck here. That's a pretty good draw too, uh, especially with my four ally limit. Anyway, uh, stun goes away, one card, Oop. a guard minion, that's not the end of the world, not the greatest, but Okay. I'm going to play Squirrel Girl. I got four ally limit because of Triskelion. That'll deal a damage here. And a damage here, because guard doesn't stop the damage, it just stops attacks. Then, I'm going to play lead from the front. To boost everyone here. Squirrel Girl can attack here for two, then I can attack Rhino. For three. Which means I could have played these with all three of these to draw three cards to see what I would have drawn. Morale boost, I could have attacked for four. Okay, so, good first outing. Um, not fully convinced on the lack of on, uh, Honorary Avenger. Uh, also not fully convinced on the inclusion of Nick Fury. I only really included him because it's normally a good include. Just back this all up. All 40 cards are there, good. Yeah, cool. Uh, we'll see how we keep go. This is obviously the easiest expert encounter. Turns out 
Rhino with Bomb Scare is not difficult. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go in the next one. Uh, first thing, I'm probably going to refresh everything, so I need to save this object. Uh, 